Welcome viewers to History Facts. America's Roanoke province disappeared suddenly. It was begun in the beginning of the New World when a band of pilgrims showed up on an island off the bank of North America. They constructed homes, started cultivating, and eventually made a little local area. In the span of three years, however, they had vanished, gone forever. So where did they go? Indeed, convincing new proof could now at last tackle the riddle. The settlement of Roanoke shockingly disappeared in 1590. Presently, one master says he's tackled the extraordinary secret. But before we get started, if you're enjoying this video, show us some love by subscribing. It's the best way to support us and never miss out. Let's get started. Indeed, even today, the destiny of the missing occupants stays one of American history's most getting through puzzles. Furthermore, you want to realize that the settlement was scarcely off its feet when Lee Representative John White, fast on Roanoke, determined to source genuinely necessary supplies. When he returned, be that as it may, the other pilgrims, including individuals from his own family, were no place to be seen. Did the pilgrims die in a brutal fight with the powers battling for control of the new world? Maybe on the other hand, they endure leaving Romanoke for pastures new. Indeed, in October 2020, another section in this captivating story started to unfurl. As per the primary state establishment, an exploration bunch situated in North Carolina, Proof has arisen that reveals new insight into the pioneer's extreme destiny. So has the secret of Roanoke been settled unequivocally? The narrative of the lost province started in May 1587, when a gathering of English pioneers set forth for Roanoke Island, a little spit of land off the shoreline of what is presently in North Carolina. It had proactively been the most ideal setting for one local area laid out two years beforehand. Undaunted, the second gathering of pilgrims showed up on Roanoke Island in July 1587. As recently referenced, they were driven by a man called White. He had been an individual from the Maine Cut Short State. Furthermore, as per the records, there were 115 men, ladies and newborn children among their positions, including the lead representative's girl, who was expecting her very own child. After a short time, she would have the primary English youngster brought into the world in North America. In any case, only 10 days after this groundbreaking event, White had to abandon the youngster settlement supplies were lessening it appears, and he expected to get back to Britain to rustle up extra assets. So towards the finish of August, the lead representative left his family on Roanoke Island and set out on the long excursion across the Atlantic. In the end, following two years, Sir Francis Drake's powers vanquished the foe, and the legislative leader of Roanoke could at last return. When White showed up back on the island, however, exactly three years had passed, and on second thought of a flourishing settlement, he found a province that was deserted and congested, yet were had individuals who incorporated the lead representative's own granddaughter gone. A secret keeps on tormenting America right up till now. After looking into it further, however, maybe individuals of Roanoke hadn't exactly vanished suddenly. Nearly however renowned as the yearly abandoned state, maybe the message that the evaporated occupants evidently abandoned. Cut into a tree, White found the word Croton explained in capital letters, and close by another trunk drill is comparative legend, Crow. There the legislative head of Roanoke experienced the rest of his days, incapable to collect sufficient cash to get back to the new world and search out his missing family. Throughout the long term, various hypotheses have arisen to represent what White found when he got back to the settlement. One of the most famous, however, is the possibility that the pioneers deserted Roanoke and moved to Croton Island exactly 50 miles toward the southeast. Obviously, this thought is apparently upheld by the cut messages the homesteaders abandoned. In any case, how could they have decided to leave Roanoke for Croton, which is known as Hatteras Island today? As per a few specialists, the pioneers might have ended up attempting to get by without assets in an unfamiliar land. So the hypothesis goes, the occupants of Roanoke decided to unite with the Hatteras public living on Croton. Unquestionably, the locals' information on the district would have assisted the expense homesteaders with getting by as their provisions diminished to nothing. Strangely, this hypothesis was loaned further belief in the mid-1800 years, when the English adventurer John Lawson showed up in North Carolina and visited the Hatteras public. Were these individuals the relatives of the first Roanoke pilgrims? Lawson appears to have accepted thus. In his 1709 book Another Journey to Carolina, he guessed that the settlers had deserted all expectation of White's return. All things considered, he finished up they had decided to get their future in North America by intermarrying with the Hatteras public. However, this is a long way from the main hypothesis that has been advanced to make sense of what has been going on with the lost state of Roanoke. As per legend later, settlers in the districts set out determined to figure out the destiny of their ancestors. 
Clearly, he had butchered the settlers perhaps trying to turn away forecasts from local blessed men about dangers to his kin from unfamiliar pirates. So were the Roanoke homesteaders cleared out by antagonistic locals. During the 1930s, the writer Paul Green was exploring a piece about the secret when he understood that the Spanish had kept the settlement exhaustively. One more hypothesis proposes that the homesteaders burnt out on trusting that provisions and Resolve will endeavor the return excursion to Britain unassisted. Notwithstanding this hypothesis, however, there has never been a conclusive response concerning what has been going on with individuals of Roanoke. Known as the Virginia Standards Map, it was painted by White himself back in 1585, showing a portion of the early settlements along the eastern shore of North America. The guide remembers the juvenile settlement for Roanoke Island. Charmed, the scientists focused the light through the guide, and that was the point at which they spotted it. A mysterious image concealed underneath one of the patches, looking like the star with four places, addressing the area of a post nearly 50 miles northwest of Roanoke is thought. Might this already obscure area at any point be where the pilgrims wound up? All things considered, the spot named Site X was closer to a native settlement, and the Europeans are known to have laid out their towns and also situated areas. Thus a group headed by classicist Nicola Ketty showed up in North Carolina's Birdie District in 2015. This appears to recommend then, at that point, that the ancient rarities were abandoned by Europeans who ventured out to North Carolina before the main known pioneers. Might they at some point have been brought there from Roanoke, utilizing ground entering radar Lachetti, and his group found one more expected site of interest only two miles away, and in December 2019, they got back to lead extra unearthings there similarly as in the past area. As per reports, the sections at what became named site-wide are remembered to have come from various areas. As per the group, that earthenware pieces can came from containers that were utilized to keep and plan food, demonstrating that they had once had a place with a laid-out local area, and keeping in mind that it is conceivable that they were abandoned by later pilgrims Lachetti and his group don't completely accept that that is their logical beginning. Yet, as indicated by the tractors, none of these were found at both of the Birdie area locales. We are exceptionally sure that these honor things are connected to the Roanoke provinces. A delegate of the primary settlement establishment told Artnet in November 2020, We have thought about every one of the sensible conceivable outcomes and cannot find anything else that fits the proof, yet not every person it appears is in understanding. I'm doubtful excavator Charles Yuan from East Carolina College told Public Geographic, the main settlement establishment are hoping to demonstrate instead of trying to discredit their hypothesis, which is the logical way. So on the off chance that these stoneware shards are not proof of the pioneers relocating to Birdie Province, then what are they? In a 2015 meeting with public geographic paleontologist Brett Riggs, brought up that the curios didn't be guaranteed to mean Europeans had gotten comfortable Birdie region. As a matter of fact, the stoneware could just have been disposed of afterward rummaged by individuals from the native local area just to turn up and confuse specialists hundreds of years on anything of utility they returned to their homes Riggs made sense of. They would vacuum everything up, an Ivor human excavator who once unearthed Roanoke Island added that joining such an exact course of events to the finds was hazardous. As per Scott Dawson, who helped to establish the Croton Archaeological Society, Birdie area would have been an improbable objective for the last homesteaders. Archaeologists on Hatteras Island on Earth to brilliant ring engraved with heraldic images that was accepted to be from 16th century Britain. Starting around 2009, Dawson and his accomplice have been supporting unearthings at a site on Hatteras Island known as Cavern Spring, and throughout the long term, they have recuperated a few European curios. Obviously, it's conceivable that these are articles could just have been bargained by the settlers instead of carried with them to Hatteras Island. Be that as it may, Earthmovers have likewise found individual things, for example, a piece of record set apart with the letter M. Addressing public geographic classicist Imprint Horton theorized this was claimed by someone who could peruse and compose. This wasn't valuable for exchange, yet was possessed by an informed European. So did the last settlers of Roanoke end up on Hatteras Island in Birdie District, or elsewhere on and out, as per you, and the jury is still out. For some, however, the antiques found by Dawson's establishment give significant proof that the pioneers headed inland. Kelso of the Protection Bunch Jamestown Rediscovery expressed out loud whatever has been seen as such a long ways at site Y, and Birdie Province appears to me to tackle perhaps of the best secret in early American history, the Odyssey of the Last Settlement. Furthermore, we can clear up another secret as well. When an American aircraft came crashing down into Sandwich Sound back in 1943. Thanks for watching.
If you don't want to miss out on any of our upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. It's the best way to stay in the loop.